What is the best mobile internet data bundle in Zimbabwe? That's simple. Tell on LTE Blaze because, well, it's the cheapest. That's all for today, folks. See you again next. I'm joking. I'm joking. When we say something is the best, we have to consider a bit more aspect than just the price. So for this video, we're going to look at a couple of aspects that include the price, the network coverage, the bundle selection, compatibility with smartphones, tablets, and MiFi routers, and the network speed. Let's make it interesting. We'll throw in a score at every stage. And at the end of this video, the one with the highest score will be crowned the best. We're looking at Tel1, Net1, Econet, Telesel, and Zol. So you're free to give them your own ranking right now and see how well you did at the end of this video. Let's start off with the easiest, price. So there is no one universal bundle that all the service providers share for an easy comparison, meaning I have to do some math <laughs> to calculate the price per gigabyte for each service provider. The final figure we'll use for the scores is the average price per gigabyte across all the data packages that each service provider has on offer. Right, here is the list. Starting with the highest price per gigabyte, aka the most expensive overall, we have Econet Private Wi-Fi Bundles, which are costing $146.35 per gig. Telesel Wi-Fi Bundles, $132.73 per gig. Wi-Fi Bundles, $130.31 per gig. Zol Wibronix, $116.67 per gig and lastly tell one blaze at a rock bottom $89.46 per gig. So that means Econet gets a point, Telesel gets two, Net1 gets three, Zol four, and Tel1 takes home all five of them. Let's go to network coverage. Here we will be using data from our buddies over at Potras to see how many base stations in total that each service provider has. The one with the most base stations, well, obviously has the most coverage and so gets the most points. As for Tel1 and Zol, the base station numbers are not in the report, but by default we know their coverage is not nearly as good as the other three service providers and also have a small issue of being geolocked, so we use the number of areas covered for Tel1 and Zol. So Tel1 has 8 areas in and around Harare that are covered. Zol has 44 areas in Harare and 18 towns and cities outside of Harare. Telesel has 1,118 base stations, Net1 has 2,856 base stations, and Econet has 5,003 base stations. So that means Tel1 gets a point, Zol gets two, three for Telesel, Net1 gets four, and Econet five. However, what this shows is that generally you're going to get better network coverage on Econet than on Tel1, but the situation in your particular area might be very different. So pick whoever has the best network signal in your particular area. This tally is just for comparison's sake. Moving on to selection. The more variety a service provider offers, the more choice you have for a number of different budgets. So let's see how they stack up in that regard. Econet and Net1 both have four packages. Telesel has five. Tel1 Blaze LTE has six, and Zol Wibronix has ten. So that's a point each to Net1 and Econet. Three points to Telesel, four points to Tel1, and five to Zol. Device support. Simply put, can the SIM card in question work in any phone, tablet, dongle, or router? Well, starting with the problematic ones, Tel1 is the shortest list of devices that can support it. Zol follows closely behind, and then Net1, Telesel, and Econet sims work in almost every device. So, which brings that to one point to Tel1, two points to Zol, and five points each to Econet, Telesel, and Net1. Pretty controversial this one, but speed is a factor. Also, speed is dependent on a lot of factors like how far you are from a base station, the amount of traffic on the base station you're connected to, and the available service for Econet, Telesel, and Net1. Maybe 3G, maybe 2G. Starting with the slowest, we have Telesel, mainly because it only has 17 4G base stations in the whole of Zimbabwe. So you are most likely going to be connected to slower 3G or maybe even 2G depending on your area. The next batch is also a tricky one. 
Chao One says Blaze LTE can go up to 20 megabits per second, which is higher than Zol's quoted 10 megabits per second. However, in my real world experience around Harare, the best I got on Tel One's Blaze LTE was about 5 megabits per second, whilst the best I got from Zol was around 8.5 megabits per second. So I'm putting Tel One in fourth place and Zol in third place based on my real world experience. It's pretty much the same story with Econet and Net1. In my real world test, the highest speed I attained on Econet was about 45 megabits per second, which is quite impressive by the way. That's about downloading a whole movie in something like five minutes. However, the highest I managed on Net1 was an even more impressive 74 megabits per second. I even saved the screenshot here because it was wild. Which is up to now the highest speed I have tested from a Zim mobile network operator. Again, basing on my real world test, I have to put Econet on second place and Net1 on number one. But like I said, there are so many things at play when we look at network coverage and download speeds that you need to vet your particular area first to see which service provider brings the best service in these categories. Time to add everything up. Tel One got 13 points, Telesol got 14, Zol and Econet are tied at 16, and Net One takes the lead with 18 points. So, how close were you to this tally and which one surprised you? <laughs> Looking at the tally, Net1 comes out the best overall. Key areas I think it did well for my use case is coverage and download speed. These might not be very important to you and you can select the ones that matter for you. Reshuffle it and see which service provider best suits your needs and your area. I hope this has been informative. Thank you for watching till the end. It means a lot to me. Uh, see you in the next Q&A.